and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky karma to start the day off. This is kind of like spooky karma 2.0. This is going to be a new version with um, our latest set, the Rising Tines, entering in. And what we've seen on the ladder, for those of y'all playing on the ladder, you've probably been seeing just a ton of aggro. It's been just kind of aggro everywhere. And so that's what that's what uh, we're hoping to be able to beat with this deck. Obviously, sometimes aggro decks will just high roll and you're going to lose, but um, there's a lot of anti-aggro stuff in this deck, and that's um, that's what I kind of designed it towards. So those of y'all wanting to play a control deck to beat aggro, I'm hoping this is it. Um, so we have Elise is a, just a, a really good two drop. Like Elise is just good against aggro. Uh, being a good blocker and everything and and can uh, make extra bodies and everything like that And we also got this new two drop eye of the dragon in here that um, Is a really good quality card and then around so we need it We want to cast a, a lot of spells each round You know we want to cast two spells each round because then we get a draggling. It's a nice lifesteal um, Ephemeral blocker for us or attacker depending on on which way so we've got a lot of you know a lot of spells in here of course a deep meditation also wants us to cast two spells a turn so we're just going to be like a control deck and we're, we're going to be pretty de decent against decks that go wide because we got brood awakening we got withering whale stuff like that um you know we even have ruinations at the top end um as far as winning games our deck's probably not going to be like our deck doesn't really finish games out very well. We're just going to be relying on Karma to outgrind our opponent for the most part. So we'll see how it goes. I didn't have, I don't have any like big finisher in here, like a Ledros or anything like that. Like anything that like really actually helps close games out against control decks because like a Ledros is not going to be good against aggro at all. And there's just so much aggro that I don't want to have anything like that where uh, all of our cards are pretty decent in... Um, uh, in the aggro matchup. So let's give it a try. I could see the late game power uh, not being enough. But. I haven't used a snapper in a long time. Let's use a snapper. Um, but you know, that's that's not what I'm, I'm worried about. I'm worried about the aggro matchup. Nope, no miss call. Um, you know, we're just trying to, uh, you know, Miscall's good against, like, re you know, like, removal decks and good in the late game with that, but we're just trying to, uh, trying to have all of our cards pretty good against aggro. Um, I, yeah, I think Karma is much more powerful than Lee Sin. Um, I did think about playing Lee Sin instead of Elise with having the new two drop. So, you know, like, we kind of do already have, like, a good defensive two-drop. So, I thought about replacing Elise and playing Lee Sin. Um, but then, you know, even thought about doing that with, like, Car with Thresh also. But really looking at both of those cards, I'm not sure. Like, for this kind of deck, I'm not even sure Lee Sin is better than... Um, That card's always really annoying to deal with. See, the problem with doing this is then I don't get to do a five mana spell next turn. Sorry, but yeah, I'm not sure Lee Sin's actually better than Thresh. Uh, I'm in, I'm in the Dallas Metroplex, Elder Links. That's where I'm at in Texas. Um, so if I do this, I'm basically casting Deep Meditation next turn. I don't know. We'll see. I I do save, you know, three life. Oh, wow. They just passed. Oh, wait. Oh. They didn't have the attack token. What am I doing? Oh, that was just a dumb decision then. I For some reason, I thought... <laughs> oh, my first game yesterday was pretty bad also. All right. I need to... I, don't know. I was thinking they were going to be attacking. All right. So that was just a, a bad play. I should have just passed.
Yeah, I mean, I, I should've just passed. Hey, Rex. Oh no, not your bad at all. I mean, that's my bad. That is my bad. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Um. I wanted to play the Vile Feast also, but with them simply passing, um, Is fearsome, can't block it. Never see it coming. Damn it. I can't really stop like the the whole burst spells speed thing. Um, could have like with I could have withering weld instead of rude awakening, I suppose, but. That didn't seem like a very good plan against the other thing, but all right. So I guess I guess I'm just really bad at first games. That was uh, yesterday. The the video that we had, my first game was just awful in that that game. I I just really messed up that turn too. So think about against when you're playing against aggro, you can't just completely mess up a turn. And playing that vile feast on turn two and not being able to then play the five mana spells on turn three uh, cost me that. So Ruination is very good against the Demacia decks, but if we're just like super far behind and then, you know, and just trying to set up Ruination, they can play around it fairly easily. So we need other things. We need to still be proactive and, and try to um, get the last their last cards with the Ruination, not get, um, you know, not just like stabilize with Ruination. You need to use Ruination as like a finisher. Hey, Yud. Going good. Going good. Feeling good today. Had a good walk with the dogs. You're covered. That's like my... Um, Come closer. My I don't May resolution. What's your is I'm going to try to take the dogs on a walk every day this month. I know what so far, one for one. <laughs> I've heard Stay legends of such activity as walking. Skitter out from the darkness. Such unrefined style. See, I wonder if, like, this isn't even a Deny metagame. Deny was really good last metagame, but... I wonder if, like... Yeah, there's still a... There's still some... There's still some control out there. You know, the control decks that play a whole lot of burst spell speeds. That's gross. That card is too good. That card is too good.
My best play? I think so. Hey, Mr. Bread. Yeah, it's it's difficult to say. I mean, different people do well with different decks. So it's difficult for me to say, you know, this is the deck that will definitely get you from gold to platinum this will be quick. kind of thing. Um, but if I had to recommend one deck, it would probably be the Bannerman Quinn deck that we played last night. And so there's... There's the, the YouTube video from, from last night. Maybe check out that deck, Mr. Bread. Deck's not... You know, it's pretty straightforward. Creature beat down. And there's a lot of, a lot of good cards. That thing's burst speed. Well, I'm I'm dead. I don't have Will of Ionia in here. I haven't. This is the first time I've ever seen anybody play this unyielding spirit. I don't have anything against it. I could have. Hmm. I could uh, we'll just kill this so they don't get the, the kill with the, the Fiora. Sure. Man, deny just doesn't do anything, does it? Alright, we could hit Will of Ionia off of Karma. Come on. William. Well, it's more chances for Will of Ionia, I suppose. I probably need to wait for Karma to die and then rekindle her back Karma instead of rekindle her back at least. Um, I didn't have any plans for for uh, Dreadway Ledros, but yeah, you're right. I should, shouldn't I? I'll mark that down. I've had like some other uh, meme tier Monday decks that are kind of in the queue. But yeah, I'll, I'll write that down. Also, that's a good one, Skya. Yeah, that other card would definitely be weak as, as fast speed, but... Hmm. <laughs> nice, Mike. Mike, glad you're loving it. Yeah, you've been playing nonstop for a few days. Awesome. It's been fun turning the Spider 10-5 dude deck. Is there a tier one that's close to that? Um, yeah, I mean, basically, uh, it's not tier one. Before, um, uh, here, if you go, if you go to this, this site here, Mike, there was, um, it's kind of on there, Spider Aggro. Um, they call it S tier, but it was not. There's a, 
it was really tough playing aggro um, in, in the high ranks before the update. Um, but you're kind of looking at something like that. Like that that list there doesn't have any of the new cards or you know it isn't updated at all. And keep them from killing. I need to keep this Fiora. I don't know how I'm supposed to win. I have to keep that Fiora from um, killing me. You know, from doing the the whole kill four things. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I cast this, three, four, five, six, seven. That'd be eight, nine, and then Fiora, or then Karma gives me ten. I don't know how I'm doing ten damage. I haven't figured this out yet. I gotta just pass. New recruit reporting in. Yeah, Fiora is can't take. They played the Unyielding Spirit, that eight mana card. So now Fiora can't take damage or die. And I don't have Will of Ionia in my deck, so I don't have anything to deal with it. Um. I haven't decided what I'm going to do about that yet. Come from the dark. Hmm. I have too many cards. Basically just keeping Fiora from killing my stuff for now. Oh, come on, really? Well, I assume... Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, I assume we, I still gained the life. Which I think I gained the life. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that'd be six. All right, so I'm just gonna burn a card now, I guess. I'm doing a good job of keeping their Fiora from killing anything. At least. Sorry, Elise. <laughs> I said at least, not Elise. No! A karma! No! Uh, that's the worst card to burn. Not gonna be easy. Can you just cast? 
We each died, then found hope. Okay, so that's my last karma. I need to get I just need to get rid of like all these cards in hand. <laughs> need to get rid of a lot of cards. Why does this thing have the I can't, you know, this thing has that protection but this thing doesn't. It's weird. I know this doesn't do anything, but I just want to cast it and get it out of my hand and gain six life. I mean, it does something. It gains six life. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I still had to retreat. I wasn't done. Uh, I clicked the okay, but I wasn't done. I still need to cast this retreat and save Fiora. Or save, save Karma from Fiora. In a long path to get Yeah, because I, I have too many cards to play the Inside of Ages copy, because, um, yeah, just kind of too many cards. But, I, I mean, I needed to. I mean, I needed to save my my karma and then, and then do that. That was something I needed to do. Yeah, would have. Yes, yeah, so it would have created another karma in my deck. Hey, 96. Hey, Toasted. What's up, everybody? Get him. One point.
What Ezreal deck do I recommend? Probably Ezreal Karma. Um, you know, Twisted Fate Ezreal is pretty good too, but I think I like the Ezreal Karma, especially with the, the new Ionia tools. Now we can shuffle a Karma back and cast Inside of Ages. And Inside of Ages is important because we need to find... Um, probably just need this blocker out first. We need to find Will of Ionia. And I don't have a Will of Ionia in the deck, so we need to randomly create a Will of Ionia. I was, I was hoping to find this card earlier when I still had the Twin Disciplines and try to have, like, this plus the Twin Disciplines giving the, the plus. You know, that that would have been 8 damage. Maybe if we got, like, a second Karma in play or something. That's that's how I've been thinking that I could get 10 damage in is, like, the Shadow Assassin with the Twin Disciplines, but maybe too late for that. Many past lives in a single soul. Okay. not worth it to block right no it's not worth it to block we'll save more damage by blocking the next turn after it gets a plus one fiora's at three out of four double death mark Ooh, worthless cards that's great Seriously? Is that their fourth Scythria? That is. Oh, the, oh, they had a Swiftwing Lancer create a Scythria? Wow. Ridiculous how easy this game would have been if it wasn't for this unyielding spirit. <laughs> this game would have been so, so easy. Like, even if that was just like a barrier, you know, like if those unyielding spirits were just reposts, this game would have been very easy. Um, but now I'm dead. That's second Cythria. Because my, my only play is Glimpse Beyond here to keep them from winning with Fiora, but now with that Cythria. Well, this is a terrible start. I I did my lose the first game that I'm playing because I play bad. And then we just got, you know, janked out of that one, the Unyielding Spirit. So now we're 0 2. <laughs> I think this is like the best deck that we're playing today, and we're 0 2. Uh. All right. Well, let's try to let's try to clean it up. Let's try to clean this up.
Is deny unplayable? Deny was completely unplayable that last game. As it turned out, the deny is now unplayable. Something I could deny. Swain. Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to let it happen and just play new Elise. I pull the strings. Save this two mana because now we can do a five mana spell this turn. We can do Brood Awakening or Grasp. Hopefully, Brood Awakening. That's true. Deny. You said deny is a weird card. Sometimes unplayable, sometimes necessary. Yep. And it did feel. My true beauty. I feel like it was a lot better before the updates. Now with everybody playing aggro. Probably don't need it anymore. I kind of want to take the city breaker instead of doing five damage to them and getting that thing out of here. I feel like that's reasonable. Our deny did something. Still traded down in mana, four and three. Now these these spiders are fearsome blockers. It doesn't matter what order I put these in. They're not, you know, Ionia, they're not gonna do like a lifesteal barrier or anything. It really doesn't matter if I put them off to the side or not. I'll have 10 mana next turn total, so I, I can double grasp the Swain. I get Karma out here and start getting these death marks. Oh, these death marks are just awful. Oh, that was Shadow Shift. Okay, that wasn't death mark. All right, that's not that's not so bad. Subscribe, Lord. Swain versus Elise, the dual deck.
Can you, can you imagine if we had Frenzied Skitter and like Fearsome stuff and you got like Frenzied Skitter ret plus Retreat? Bounce it, replay it. Sounds pretty sweet. Okay, we're picking it up. We did good against that aggro deck. We're picking it up. GG's. Alright, so likely uh, very aggressive. Been seeing a lot of spider cards the last couple of games. No one's the wiser. This will shake up the hunter. Fortunately, we drew this deny. Didn't bag on deny too hard. It it did something last game. Just don't have boom crew rookie. Boom crew rookie is gonna be the good. No boom crew rookie. So that's gonna be the best card in their deck. Um, Hush now. Sure about that? I'll do the trade and I get a spider. Let's go get them, spiders. First one's free. Uh, so we don't need to trade with the salesman. Spiders. The order rewards its faithful. Everything's in place. I'm playing two denies. BT dubs. You cannot escape. I would like to block, please. Could be like some transfusion tricks. Transfusion is burst speed. I don't get to respond with Vile Feast. Auction Fervor is pretty great. That would have been a good thing to deny. Well, we're at a pretty healthy 9 life total. They just have one spider left. We should be good. And we got a lot of cards. I'm gonna go with Elise so I can have deny. Available in case we need that. Um, they can't have, you know, basically worried about like decimate. Oh, right. 
just gonna keep on having that card. Hmm. That was good. All right, so now I, I really can't tap out anymore. I really gotta have, like, I have to stay, um, I have to st stay true to these denies to protect us. Worst case scenario are, are units that do direct damage. So like that, that would count. If I play this, we still have deny mana. Go ahead. Play with your boost. Remember the objectives. Awesome. Those last two games kind of show the power of our deck against, um, we've played against two Noxus strategies, both, both, you know, aggressive. Elise Swain is aggressive, and then obviously that last one was as well. I think this is a very good anti-aggro deck. And we've, we've just faced four aggro decks. <laughs> the thing is, is... I messed up one game, and then our opponent had that crazy 8-mana card that beat me the second game. Hey, hey, Guess the Chaos. Says, I've been watching you on YouTube so much, I forgot I can chat when you're alive. <laughs> yeah, that happens. I know a lot of people say they, like, try to, um, you know, try to pause, you know, fast forward, rewind, stuff like that when it's live. Am I keeping Withering Whale? I guess so. So we can play Eye of the Dragon on turn two and still have five mana on turn three. So that is awesome. We haven't been drawing this Eye of the Dragon very much at all, but like I love that how because our deck five mana is so important for the spells in our deck. Oh, all right. I guess I just have to do this because if they go straight to attacks, War Chef's pump up, pumps up Tracker and it's a three two, and then my Wither and Will doesn't kill it. Um, but that's really important to have five mana of spells on turn three, and so being able to play this on turn two and, and still have that is really nice. My shield is yours. Head to the base. No one goes hungry. Your lesson begins. They had a good hand. Turn three, they've already cast four spells. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, yeah, it just doesn't really make much sense to to not play it. Looking for trouble. Could play like Quinn after this. I kind of I wish that they had priority first. I 
I've been telling y'all since, since the, uh, you know, since the previews, that card is very good. Ranger's Resolve. That card is very, very good. This isn't setting up bad for me, though. I'm, I'm still at 20. I'm not taking lethal. And then I have ruination mana now. Taking a lot of damage, though. Please don't kill me. It's gonna kill their Quinn, right? Their plan is like a backup Quinn. I think that's their plan as a backup Quinn. I don't think I counter this though. I have to counter with like deny. Just let it go. My strength is yours. Ugh. Four toughness. That's annoying. Why don't they just play this first and make their thing a 3-5 and then fight? Like, what are they doing? Why would retreat have been good? They would have kept their they would have kept theirs alive and they would still they're still attacking again because of the scout. I would have been dead if I cast retreat. Hold nothing back. I guess they have a barrier. Oh, just a rally. That works too. Deny looks to be unplayable. Because again, you know, just another game where we're just sitting with Deny forever. Um, yeah, honestly, Deny looks looks really, really bad. <laughs> like every deck, like everybody's playing aggro. Like Demacia is all over the place. Um, Denies aren't doing anything. They really aren't. We could, instead of playing Deny, we could have, like, one big thing to try to be able to help close out games. Which I think Ledros is the best. I mean, I'd rather have a Ledros than a Deny in some of those games. 
I don't know, maybe just a third Rekindler. Rekindler did look really good, except for that last game. You know, I didn't have a Karma, but... Let me just get the third Rekindler in there. And then I guess... Third Grasp. Second Vengeance. Grasp has been good. Could play a The Box. Or if Concussive Balm is not bad. I feel like we should be playing something else besides Deny. You know, could play a Will of Ionia. I guess that's what it would probably do if people want to make 8 mana, the 8 mana spell. I guess we need to have a Will of Ionia. I guess, but... but yeah, that, that'll help out, you know, this will help out even more against Aggro. Instead of having those two Denies that were really bad and just a dead card in hand all the time we'd have a will of ionia and a rekindler a couple of cards we can actually play um yeah all right but there we go um spooky karma disappointing you know i'm disappointed that we went two and three i I hold this deck into pretty high regard. I think that we did not have very much luck. Um, you know, one game I, I made the wrong play on turn two, and it cost me. Um, and, like, just even that, that last game, that we, you know, then we had, like, that eight-mana spell that was just kind of ridiculous that we, we lost to that. And then just that last game that we lost, I don't know, our hand was, was really awkward. Um, which can happen sometimes. Like, Black Spear glimpse beyond like they were kind of stuck in hand i didn't have allies out there you know i didn't have like a brood awakening or an elise at all and it's like our the rekindler didn't do anything i thought we were good like you know we cast ruination and we were at you know they attack us down to five we cast ruination and then they didn't have a follow-up they had two cards in hand and they didn't have a follow-up play and so at that point i thought we were good but after that, they, they did draw pretty well because their their very next draw was Quinn. So they got to play Quinn, which was, um, you know, because then they had, like, the two tricks in hand. So the the Quinn was a, like, that, that draw cost us the game. But then, of course, after the Quinn was, their other draw was, like, the other six mana 4-4. Four, four. Um, so I didn't get to kill that with Grasp. So two very good draws that finished me out. And uh, Scout is still busted. All right, but anyway, that's Spooky Karma. Um, yeah, wish it, wish it would have done better, but I think I think the deck's good. Um, anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, if you try this deck out, also let me know. This should be very good against aggro, especially with taking out the Deny, the changes that we just made. Uh, play Will of Ionia. And then, again, you could have third Rekindler, or you can basically like this slot. You could play third Rekindler. You could play a Ledros. Um, heck, you could play a Rasa, but I'd probably rather have Rekindler. You could get a second Vengeance or a third Grasp the Undying if you want something like that in here as well. But um, late game, you, you really need Karmas um, in the late game, and so Rekindler helps you get more Karmas because you need to have like Rekindler get you Karma and then use the Karma that uh, you draw, use that to cast inside of ages and shuffle it back into your library so you don't you don't run out of karmas and you just keep on casting more inside of ages, <clears throat> which get which uh, gets you four spells each time and you just use those four spells to smother your opponent and um, and everything. So the rekindler is definitely part of this combo. Um, we never got to <laughs> trigger Eye of the Dragon, but. Um, it still looked pretty good. I really liked it playing this on turn two, getting the extra mana with a tune. So then turn three, you can go Brood Awakening or Grasp or Withering Whale. All right, but there we go. That's it here for Spooky Karma. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.